share with you how you can use KME to mark your students' work at ease without having much problem. The first thing you need to do in your Google Chrome is to go to the Chrome Web Store and to find the KME extension. For my case, I've already installed the extension. So if you have not installed it, you will see the word install. For me, it is removed from Chrome because I already have it. Once done, you can go to your classroom and you can start picking your students' work for marking. This is the teacher's view. As you can see here, I am the teacher. So in this video, I will show you two different submissions from students. Some students will submit the PDF format and some students may submit the non-PDF format. So for PDF format, let's go and have a look at it. So this is a student. Please take note of the differences. This is a teacher. This is a student. So I'm going into marking the student's work now. And to be honest, thankfully it is PDF. That means it is easier to mark because for PDF, if you have three pages, you will all consolidate into one single file. Now, since you have your KME installed already, just hop on to grade with KME. And for first time login, it will request you for your credentials and everything. Just log in using your school Gmail. Basically, our school has already uh, given us the basic license here, so we can use it immediately. All right. Now, to do the marking, I will select a red pen here in this drawing section. And because I have a drawing board, it helps marking way, way easier. So basically, I can do some marking here. This is correct. This is correct. Let's continue. This is correct. Now, please be aware that this is a PDF format. So it's much easier for me to do the marking. As I have three files here, as you can see, three pages. And if I made a mistake, I can actually go to the eraser and just erase my mark and continue. Oh, maybe this is wrong. This is wrong. Now, once done, just take note that it is safe. Now, if you have trouble finding out whether this is safe or not, you can go to this little icon here, save, and make sure that auto save is turned on. Once done, you can start to grade your student. Maybe this submission, which I've created, has a uh, grading system. So I'll just type maybe this student get got 90 out of 100. And once done, I will return the file. Yes, return to this student. Now, let's hop on to see what the student sees after you have some, uh, marked his work. Now, this is the student's point of view. And if this student submitted a PDF file, let's have a look what he got. Oh, it's already graded. Ah, this is the student's file, which I'm in the student's view. So I'm going to see what the teacher did to my paper. And then I noticed one thing. Hey, the teacher did not mark my word. Where is all the annotation that the teacher marked? It is an empty work. Well, this is a small problem with KME. It is not updated instantly. It will actually take some time before the student can see the marked work. It may take five minutes. It may take a 10 minutes for the student to see your annotation. It may take longer than that for the student to see what the teacher did to this PDF file. But there is a way to fix this. If you want your student to see the result instantly, what you can do as a teacher, now I'm going to hop back into the teacher's point of view, you can actually click on this share document. Now make sure it is restricted because you don't want anyone to view the file. You can actually copy this link. Remember now we are a teacher. You can copy this link and paste it at the private command here. That means even if the student cannot see the result instantly, if you give the student this Kami link, 
the student can click on this link and then view his file that you have edited right away. Let's see if me as a student, I can see this file right away. Oh, the teacher just gave me a link to see my work. Since the teacher, as if, did not mark my work, I'm going to have a look at what this teacher has done, actually. So now, as a student, first time, you will ask the student to log in, etc., etc. Let me just lock out all my... Oh, this is the student's, uh, teach, student's point of view already. I see. Let's have a look. Okay, let's try it again. Let's have a look again. As a student, I want to have a look what the teacher did to my file. And yes, indeed, the teacher actually did mark my work. Now, why are we seeing this problem? Like I said earlier on, it would actually take some time before the file in the Google Classroom will be replaced with this annotation. It doesn't happen instantly. It will take some time. So if you want your student to see your annotated work immediately, just make a good gesture to paste the link to your student so that your student can see the file immediately or else the student just have to wait let me see if it's already updated i'm very curious mm, nope still not updated let me refresh as a student let me see now ah now it takes about five minutes i guess for it to be updated now, this is a problem with uh, Google Classroom and Kami, so do not freak out. So the best way to do it is have the teacher, you, giving them the link, giving the students the link. In the next video, I will show you an even more problematic uh, occurrence when the students submit a non-PDF format. It gets even worse from there. This part of the video, I will show you how it is like to mark a non-PDF format work submission by a student by using the KME extension from Google Chrome. Now, this is a teacher's point of view. Uh, we do know that we have no control what type of file the students submit. Sometimes the student may submit a PDF format, which is good because all the files are cons uh, all the pages are consolidated in one file. But sometimes the students just submit JPEG or PNG file, which we don't have control over. So what should we do if the student submitted a non-PDF format? Let's dive right in. So again, I'm a teacher and this is the student. I can see that there are three attachments. I know that this is not, uh, this is a deal breaker for me. Let's open it up and see. Ah, already activated, great with Kemi. For first time, as you can see, this icons actually shows that it is an image file. Previously, we see the word PDF because it's PDF. This one is now JPEG file or PNG file. So when you first uh, launch the student's file, it will require you to convert it, all right? Because this is not a PDF file. So just click convert. Now, once done the conversion, no, you don't need to recognize any text, just click no. Notice that it is still a JPEG file, but don't worry, we will try our best to mark the work. So, let me just try it out here. Drawing again. Use the red color pen and let's do the marking. Correct, correct. Now, this is wrong, maybe, I do not know. Maybe this is right. Oops, so I need an eraser. This is right, this is wrong. I'm just scribbling. Hey, it looks like the student only submitted one word. Well, that is not true. As you can see here, there are two more pages. So no choice, you get to jump into these different pictures. And every time you open the picture, it will require you to do the conversion again. Just say no. Let's continue marking. All 
All right, so once we've done all the marking, uh, I will skip the third one. How are we supposed to give this back to the student? Again, since this is a JPEG file, it will actually take even longer for the student to receive back the file because KME will take more time to transform or to convert JPEG into PDF. So what if we want the students to see the marked paper as soon as possible? This is when we as a teacher will share again the link for the students to access the things that we have marked. So I'm going to go back to my first page and I will show you how I share the link to the students so that the students can see this work as soon as possible. So I'm going to click this share and again, make sure that it is auto save. Let's see. Okay, all save, all changed already. So I'm going to click share the document. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to give it to the students. Now, since there are two or more than two pictures, I will need to share all the links to the students. As you can see, having different pages or having different pictures will give you different links. This is the problem when you are marking a non-PDF file. Let's try it with the last one since we're here already. Convert. No, let's say this is wrong. This is wrong, this is correct. And I'm gonna share the file again. There you go. I have now three links to be shared to my student. I'm going to post this private comment for the student to know that I have marked all three of these already and then return the work. So once I've done returning the work, let's have a look what the students see in the student's point of view. So now I'm a student, as you can see, this is a student's point of view. I'm going to see, oh, the teacher has written my work. Let's see, image. And then again, I notice, hey, the teacher did not mark my work, it is empty. Well, again, this is the problem with Kemi and Google Classroom. You actually take more time to convert the JPEG into PDF for the student. So in the meantime, the best way for the students to see his work marked by you as a teacher is through the private comments here, which you have the link pasted for them. So as a student, I'm going to see what the teacher has given to me. Oh, now I see it. As a student, now I can see the teacher actually did mark my work. But since I've submitted JPEG for my teacher, that means I'm going to open all the links, each and every one of them, one at a time, to check the work that the teacher has marked on my paper. So as you can see, this is really, really tedious. So it is a good gesture to ask your student to submit their work as PDF file instead. So there you have it. There are two ways to mark your student's work be it a PDF format or a non-PDF format. To be honest, a PDF format is easier to mark compared to a non-PDF format. Thank you.